All right, welcome back to the Jason Gray Show. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's talk about the 2023 debt crisis. Now, this is a little different than 2011, where they actually stopped making payments on a lot of stuff. And now 2011 was huge. They closed down parks, people weren't getting paid. It was a real life crisis and, and people that are living paycheck to paycheck, it was a, a real big burden on people. And none of us remember what happened in 2011, but that's pretty much what happened. The government had technically shut down temporarily. And at the end of the day, did all those people get paid? Yes. And will that happen here? Yes. Now let's talk about what the recourses happen if we don't come to an agreement in the next couple of days, because there's a lot of steps that have to happen. Even if they become to an agreement today, what has to take and what has to occur to get this all signed around. So it sounds like between the Biden administration and the GOP, they're talking back and forth. I would have to imagine the next couple of days they come up with some type of an agreement. The GOP said we're going to give a 72 hour review period of whatever that agreement is. So everyone has the proper opportunity to review what they're signing, which I think is very good, right? Three days is pretty common sense and re take a look at that. Then it has to all be signed around. There's a holiday in here. There's, there's a lot of little moving parts. I think this thing will come into an agreement and all done by like June 3rd or 4th. But if it doesn't, what happens? Well, we get downgraded by the rating agencies, our treasuries go out of control and our stock market takes a crash. Now, will that stuff all recover when everyone comes to an agreement again? Yes. And this has been played out many, many, many years. And the debt crisis or the debt ceiling issue honestly probably shouldn't be there, but this is part of the political ploys on both the Democratic and Republican parties, depending upon who's in charge at the time. Um, and so it's interesting to sort of see how they play negotiations in front of all of us. And at the end of the day, on really some common sense decisions. Now, part of the issue here is that we're spending so much money but we're not bringing enough money in the coffers. Not only that, the treasury yield prices have gone up so much that the cost of us to carry this 31 or 32 or $33 trillion in money to carry that cost is expensive. So consider yourself having a, a car loan or a mortgage and you had an interest rate go from 1% up to four or 5%. What does that do to you in regards to paying your debt back? And you're talking about you know, scaling this up to $33 trillion. And what the GOP is trying to do is say, let's not spend any more money than we did last year, which is like 4.2 trillion. What's in the budget right now with the Biden administration is $4.9 trillion. And they're just trying to say, get it back down to 4.2 trillion, and then don't go anything above that. They'd love to see this thing go down, but don't go any higher. I mean, at $4.2 trillion, you should be able to spend for everything. And there's lots of talks about, um, you know, uh, defunding particular uh, departments in the U.S. government. Um, there's, there's the big one that you're see seeing lately is that the GOP is not getting the information that they need from the, the feds. And what they're doing is they're saying, should we start defunding the FBI? Should we pull the purse back? Because the Republicans are in charge of the House, which is the purse and they're they're going to start ratcheting things and they're talking about doing that with the department of, of justice as well and especially after this Dur the durham report that came out i think a lots of things are going to change so this debt crisis piece is going to be at the end of the day a nothing option i mean this is going to be nothing is going to affect you it'll only affect you in a very short period of time here over the next couple of weeks you've sort of seen that with stock prices go down you see mortgage rates go up you see treasury yields go up just the uncertainty hates the market, and that's what's happening right now. So again, these guys will all come to agreement. You know, they're they're all posturing. Um, hopefully, they come up with some common sense decisions for all of us. It sort of just tells you the monkeys are running the this you, this government. I mean, they are just horrific in regards to what they do. Um, they always lie, they always cheat, and they always steal. And that's just the corrupt government that we have, unfortunately. But like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.